Hey, this is Eric Fuller with CubicDissection.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to use a dial indicator with a table fence. It's going to give you the accuracy you need to make some great puzzles. Alright, so this is a standard dial indicator. Uh, it's on a magnetic base. As you can see, I can move it around and turn this, and it'll lock down and not move at all. Very rigid, unlike my uh, camera mount, apparently. So, what I'm going to do is take it and put it over here on this side of the fence. So what I'm going to do is move the dial indicator over to the fence right here and I'm gonna lock it down to the table. And now I can use this fine adjustment right here to kind of zero it out so I know exactly where my fence is in relation. And it's so accurate that if I put enough pressure on the fence, you can even see it move a little bit. Even though this is a very rigid table saw fence, nothing is completely rigid. And that's why having a measurement on here is so important. Now let's say I make my cut and I need it to be over 15 thousandths of an inch. All I've gotta do is unlock my fence, move it over, and lock it back down. Now, as you can see, when the fence re-engages, it slips a little bit. It's just a little bit of trial and error to get it where you want. Now I'm zeroed in. I just took 15 thousandths off of my cut. It's completely accurate. A final thing you can do to ensure that your cuts stay exactly where you want them is to go ahead and clamp a block on the back end next to your fence. And so what this does is it gives like kind of a back clamp since the fence really only clamps in the front, now there's absolutely no deflection whatsoever and it's a much more rigid setup. The final step, now that we've got our fence clamped, we've got it dialed into where we want to go, is we're going to zero this back out so I know exactly where I'm starting from. And now, whenever I'm working, if the fence somehow does move, if I, if I lose my clamping on the back or if I bump it too hard with my hip or something like that, I'll actually see the movement because it'll go off zero on the indicator and I know I'm not accurate anymore so I can stop my work and make uh, corrective adjustments. So, that's it for today. It's really hot in here. I'm going to go have a beer. Good luck. Hope this helps you make better puzzles.